Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. When I think of the name of this cocktail, I think about Perry Mason giving his closing arguments to the bench and getting the perpetrator every time. In fact, Perry Mason has some of the strongest closings that have ever been seen. Now, if you back up, this is going to be a quiet second. It's actually based on the 1915 Last Word cocktail that was created at the Detroit Athletic Club. Now that cocktail and the many variants that it spawn are considered four equal part cocktails. Simple, easy, everything balancing out beautifully. So let's talk about the ingredients. The first thing you're going to need is some Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. Now this is made from Marasca cherry, so you get that earthy pity taste and that sweetness that comes along with it, which is absolutely fantastic. It's also 32% ABV. Now, you also need some green chartreuse. Now that's 50% ABV. It contains 150 different herbs and spices and is absolutely wonderful to drink, even on its own. Your next ingredient is the base spirit, which is mezcal. Now I'm using Madra Mezcal. It's 45% ABV and it's made in Oaxaca Valley. The other ingredient that you're going to use for this is fresh lime juice, because you gotta have fresh lime juice in the last word variant. Now, it is a shaken cocktail, so prep your shaker by putting the glass off to the side. However, we're going to actually start with the garnish. So what we'll do is we will peel a swath of the lime, then cut that nicely with a center cut. Then afterwards, we will cut it in half and squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters into the glass. So your second ingredient will be some maraschino liqueur. Now, this has the wonderful slow pour top and you just Pour it in three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Your third ingredient is going to be your green chartreuse. Now, could you swap in a yellow chartreuse for this? Yeah, it would definitely be worth trying out. But we'll use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. The fourth ingredient that you're going to use for this is your mezcal. Now, Depending on the type of mezcal you have, uh, you may get more or less smoke value. And some people will actually split their base on this. And the reason I say that is the smoke may be too forward for them. Uh, again, it's your personal taste, but we'll use the same amount at three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. So your next step is to shake this with a little bit of ice. So what you'll do is make sure that you fill the glass up all the way with some good solid ice, just like so. Slap your uh, the top of your shaker on there. Make sure you have a good seal. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Put that off to the side. And what we will do is pour this in an upright fashion into a nice little fancy coupe glass. So what you wanna do, put your Hawthorne strainer in and get your double strainer and keep it all the little chunks. Oh yeah, look at that color, absolutely gorgeous. Slide that in there, grab your garnish. Using the little slit, just place it on like so. And here you have your closing arguments. Give it a try. So immediately you get lime and a little bit of that smoke. Oh, <laughs> really good. You get that lime and you get that herbal nature. Then that smoke follows it up with a punch but the smoke is fleeting, it doesn't sit on your tongue. <clears throat> One hell of a closing argument. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look up here and we'll see you next time.